This is Stephanie from statisticshowto.com. In this video I'm going to show you a couple of permutation and combination problems. Perhaps the biggest stumbling block to actually figuring out permutations and combinations is figuring out which is which. There's two ways of thinking about this. The first is if you're making a recipe and you put eggs, salt and flour into the bowl, it doesn't matter whether you put eggs, salt and flour or flour, salt and eggs, it's all going to be mixed together. But in some recipes you have to put the eggs in first, then you have to put the salt in, then you have to put the flour in. So with permutations there's a particular kind of order. That's one way of looking at it. Another way to look at it is if you think of a combination lock on a bike. A combination lock is actually a misnomer. This is not a real combination lock, it is a permutations lock. So that's the way I remember the difference is the combination lock on a bike is actually not a combinations lock, it's a permutations lock because the order matters. It's kind of counterintuitive, but it does help me remember the difference between the two. Here's the two different formulas, one for combinations and one for permutations. There's only a slight difference and that is this R factorial. In either of these, N is the number of items and R is the number you're choosing. So let me show you a couple of examples. The first question is we've got five bingo numbers being picked from a ball with a hundred bingo numbers. How many possible ways are there for picking different number combinations? Order doesn't matter in bingo or for that matter in most lottery games. So because the order doesn't matter we've got a combination. So plug the numbers into the formula. We've got n factorial, that's 100 factorial over r which is the number of items, 5 factorial and I'm going to multiply that by 100 minus 5 factorial. If you want to figure this out on the Google calculator, Google will figure out factorials for you. Just put an exclamation point. So I've got 100 factorial divided by open parentheses 5 factorial times 95 factorial close parentheses and here's the possible number of combinations. Now if you want to check that your calculation is correct you can go to our website statisticshowto.com and we've got a combinations calculator there. So my n for that question was 100, my r was 5, the order doesn't matter because these are bingo balls, the items can't repeat because they're bingo balls, when you take out a ball it's not going to be replaced. Click calculate and if we scroll down we can see the solution there. This next question we've got five people being selected for president, vice president, CEO and secretary. The president will be chosen first followed by the three other positions. How many different ways can the positions be filled? Well we're being told that the president is going to be chosen first followed by the other three positions. So this is a permutations problem because the order does matter. So using this permutations formula and the number of people, there are five people, five factorial divided by n, five again, minus r, we're choosing four people and that is going to be factorial. Instead of using the calculator I'm just going to write this out. Five factorial is five times four times 3 times 2 times 1. And this is all going to be over 5 minus 4 is 1 and 1 factorial is just 1. Well, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 120. 120 over 1 is just 120. If you prefer you could plug this into the Google Calculator or you can also use the calculator on our website. That's a couple of examples of permutations and combinations. Check out our website statisticshowto.com where you can find more videos and examples on everything elementary statistics.